Hello and welcome back to the Desert Stories. This is Sunita Sharma. Let's have a look at the headlines. The ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine is creating major disruptions in global food supplies, creating fear of food insecurity and inflation in some countries heavily reliant on import amid rising energy cost. These disruptions combined with rising transportation cost due to energy prices hikes could lead to food insecurity for many countries in the Arab region. The second edition of Jeddah season is set to begin in early May. After a two-year hiatus due to COVID-19 restrictions, Jeddah season will take place this year with the National Event Centre set to reveal detailed information about the activities on offer at a press conference on April 9. This year's Jeddah season comes with a new identity that expresses the city's cultural, historical, recreational and tourist diversity, providing options for residents and visitors of all ages. FIFA unveiled the groups for the much-awaited World Cup 2022 at a glittering draw headlined by some of the greatest names of the game and the entertainment industry with the US facing England and Iran in Group B at the World Cup Finals, while Spain will take on Germany in a clash of former winner in Group E. As the 233 days countdown to kickoff begin in Qatar, all the 29 teams can now imagine their journey all the way to the final. The remaining eight will fight for the last three spots at the playoffs in the June, stated FIFA in its statement. For the first time, to optimize specific match details for the benefit and comfort of supporters, teams and media, the match schedule will be confirmed in due course on FIFA.com. After games have been assigned to a stadium, and kickoff time for each match day. The ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has issued a law regulating the provision of digital services in Dubai. The law seeks to accelerate the Emirates' digital transformation, enhance the provision of digital services, and promote the digitization of services in both the public and private sectors. Pursuant to the law and its decisions, Government entities and judicial authorities, including Dubai Court and Dubai Public Prosecution, as well as non-government entities in Dubai, are required to provide digital services to their customers. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more desert stories. Till then, take care. Thank you.